So we need to have one more look at these quads on a grid because we haven't looked at things that are perpendicular yet. So it's still all about slope and all about Pythagorean theorem. Now, you think that's a square, but you've got to prove it. You've got to give me numbers. You've got to show evidence that that is a square. Um, so you need those numbers. They're the slope numbers. So we've got a uh, up 3 and left 1. 3, negative 1. Up 3, left 1. 3, negative 1. Parallel. Awesome. So we're you know, probably, it's probably a square. And then um, up 1, right 3. Up 1, right 3. Up 1, right 3. All right, those are parallel also. Um, are all four sides the same? Well, that's uh, Pythagorean theorem, so that's going to be a, uh, let's go green, a 1 squared plus 3 squared, and then the uh, orangish ones is a negative 1 squared, again, negative 1 parentheses plus 3 squared, and those are going to be the same thing. That's a 9 plus 1, so that's a, t you know, that's a 10, and that's also a 10. All right, so they're all congruent. So it's either a rhombus or a square. It's got to be perpendicular to be a square. And perpendicular is we have to look at the two slopes. We have a 3, negative 1, and a 1, 3. And let's see, they are the flips of each other. They're reciprocals. The 3 over 1 became a 1 over 3. And 1 is positive and 1 is negative. So that makes it perpendicular. It's when the numbers crisscross like that and one of the slopes is positive and one of the slopes is negative. That's perpendicular. So it is a square. Awesome. Alrighty, a shape that kind of looks like it's a rectangle. So we got a double check. Looks like a parallelogram, maybe even be a rectangle. So we check the slopes. Up one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Double check that it's a parallelogram, so we've got to do the other slope. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they're parallel. And let's do the other sides. Um, oh, let's go like this. Go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's an up four and a left six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up four, left six. So those are parallel. So that's a parallelogram. But let's look at the perpendicular aspect. Let's see. Um, again, the numbers have to flip, and one's got to be positive, negative. Well, we got positive, negative. The blue ones are positive. The green ones are negative. But are they the flip number? So that's a three two. Comparing it to a four. Negative 6. Well, we already said the negative and positive got us halfway there. They're not the same numbers, but they are the same slope. Because 4 negative 6 reduces to 2, 3. So our slopes are really 3, 2 and negative 2, 3. So they are perpendicular. So that would be a rectangle. We've got parallelogram because our slopes... Opposite slopes are parallel, and those opposite slopes are perpendicular, so that makes us a rectangle. We should probably just prove that they're not the same size, so they're not a square. So, again, we've got a 3, 2, so it's 3 squared plus 2 squared, and we've got a 4, 6, which is a 4 squared plus 6 squared. Well, yeah, those aren't going to come up the same. That's 9 plus 4, that's 13. And that's 16. That's already bigger. 16 plus 36, 52. So not the same size. So it's not a square. Good.